I'm Ruth, also known as Polido Fluff to Gamers, and I'm an eSports coach at Susus. And I actually what my day job requires me to do, other than coaching, is to bring awareness to game addiction to schools, such as to students, parents, uh, and even educators. And I also use um, games to conduct workshops to learn social and emotional learning. So our main goal is actually to really build the gaming community to make it more positive and healthy. Hello, my name is Lu Wen. I started playing Contract Bridge from the age of 17. Uh, so Contract Bridge is played using poker cards, but just for your information, it is not a gambling game. Contract Bridge is actually played in the Asian Games in 2018, where Singapore actually won a gold medal. Right, I think it's time to read the rules. So, number one. Randomly fill in the bingo sheet with numbers 1 to 16. Number two. Answer the question that corresponds to the number of your choice and strike it off the bingo sheet. Last but not least, at number three, first player to form four strikes in a row wins by pressing the bell. Jesus, paper, stone. Gosh, okay. <laughs> so I start first? Yes. What number do you want? Uh, let's go with number two. Where is the line between being a game addict and being a pro gamer? The way I see it is that a person needs to be functioning healthily in all aspects of his life. Uh, being able to adult properly, manage your finances, etc. So many more things in, in life right, that God has given the person in charge to manage as a steward. And if that person has lost track of that, because it's gaming, then uh, I think that is probably a kind of addiction. Okay, so let me get number five, please. How has being a pro gamer influenced your personal relationship with God and church life? In gaming and generally, I think I'm talking about video games here. We actually have a lot of talent in Singapore, but I just see that there's always there's no mentorship, there's no leader, there's no one to look up. So I thought to myself, like, if I could really be in this space, um, I would love to actually mentor other players. Not as a player, like pro gamer, but as a coach or even manager, so on and so forth. So I really prayed very, very, very hard um, to say that, you know, like if I really get into this job, it's not about praying for the job, but rather praying about what to do with the job. So. My faith actually got stronger, but I would just I would say that also there are struggles as well. Like for example, if I'm in the gaming space, sometimes it's very easy to lose myself in the games. No! 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 You must remember to also there are times to play, there's time to work in the games, but there's also time to really spend quiet time with a lot. Can I have number 10? How would you advise someone who is interested in becoming a pro gamer but whose parents disapprove of it? I'm, ass I'm, I'm assuming that uh, parents are Christian here and they are rooted in faith. So God speaks to us through our surroundings, through our people. If our parents are, have a very strong biblical reason, I think their voice should be thoroughly considered. The question that we probably want to ask is, are you really sure that this is something you want to do because you because it's fun for you? Or is it because you really see it as one activity or one career that brings you closer to God? Because, I mean in general, if the thing doesn't bring you to God, no matter what it is, then it's actually God telling you to not go into it. Right, exciting. So now my turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. And we have number nine. How did your family or friends react to your career choice? What do they think of it now? I actually signed uh, a contract work job like to be a researcher. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, it was my brothers and father who encouraged me and said, Hey Ruth, you know, I thought you wanted you like gaming so much, right? Why why do you decide to like go research and stuff? My dad is a very strong man of this. And he, he's always um, seeing it not from the eyes of uh, you know like results. He's always about the pro, pro process. He mentioned this that 
so what if you don't it, things don't work out in gaming? Just start later, just start another job. Like at the worst you're just a few years behind, like, but at least you won't regret doing what you what you love to do. And so I was like, well, okay, let's give it a try. But I would say that I'm just very fortunate to be in this space. Not many parents can accept it all, but I really have the blessings for my family. Yeah. I think one other things I thought about is, uh, yeah, you said, so what if it doesn't work, right? I mean, when has God ever promised that things will work out? <laughs> even if it's in His will that we try it out. And sometimes we don't even know that we'll be successful or not, when, even when He told us to go into this field. So what, what we have to do is we, 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 we take the lead and uh, we just trust God that He will lead the way. And frankly, if it's not a career path, we'll be guided out of it. So be it. Okay, I'll pick 13. Okay. Alright. Are you winning? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow, okay. I, I can choose to not press it even if I want. <laughs> what? So, how do you live out your faith in the industry? One of the things that humbles me a lot is we, we are not in control of our results sometimes. <laughs> Actually, all the time. So, it is easy to it's easy for any anyone of any skill level, right, to get uh, to get annoyed at certain place that you deem nonsensical. But um, the one thing that helped me back nowadays is it's, it's 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 a very serious question. Like, who does God love? He loves me, but he also loves the person opposite me, my opponents, my teammates at the other table, my opponents at the other table, and if I don't respect that. I have broken a commandment. I have broken the law. I have sinned. It's one of the one of the ways that gamers can go very easily wrong. But it's a extremely rewarding and extremely uh, pleasing in God's sight if you actually handle it properly. When we talk about building communities, we organize competitions. Definitely, there will be people who shall foul play. There will be people who want to grief play. There will be many patterns and. There will be all walks of gamers and you know some of them um, really really needs a lot of love and even during my industry like my work right running events and stuff the only thing sometimes you can do is pray really pray pray that oh, people turn out on time your volunteers turn out on time there's no tech difficulty especially when everything is online pray that the format that everyone's happy with it I think more importantly is pray that it, it, it doesn't just end with this event, it doesn't just end with this coaching session or what, like, can we save these soul? Can we lead them back to Christ? Like, I think those are questions that I personally tackle every day. What? You're done? Yeah, I'm done. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? Nah. What? I think you're, you're one away, right? Yes, I was one away. I was like, oh my gosh. The second person? They're all doing the same. <laughs> I can only oh, do I 50% of it. My hands. <laughs> I can't do my legs. This is like some brave dance. Uh, I, I cycle motor problems. How? Yes. That's why I don't play. That's why I only play bridge. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Yeah. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Bye! Bye.